but there comes these times where sometimes um, I don't feel called to engage anything. Like it really uh-huh. is time to do something physical and not engage, really not engage anything. What are those uh-huh. times about? Because they feel very, very, very neutral. Well, the, the funnest part about that sweet view is without any work whatsoever, you know, let's mm-hmm. call it hyperstimuli, analytical, so forth and so forth. It's you catching up with you. It's you mm-hmm. integrating, you catching up with you, you running forth with you. Yeah. And in turn, it really requires nothing. Yeah. It's a total complete catching up with oneself that you cannot do with the mind. The mind cannot catch up with you. Yeah. You're letting all of you catch up with you. Right. And you're also flourishing, flourishing as oneself, with oneself, through oneself, and the whole universe entirely. Letting yourself embody, integrate, expand upon, open up upon, or data information, data information, integrating, activation, downloading, encodement, decodement, catching up with oneself, catching up with oneself, oneself, catching up with oneself, and letting a whole other plane, a whole other state of the embodiment of consciousness, the embodiment of clarity, the total complete presentation of clarity and embodiment, to run forth, run forth, and run forth. See, it's not something that the analytical can put on the schedule. It's not something the analytical can put even into a box or a frame of reference. It's not something at all the analytical can try to box in. Because none of it is of the analytical. The part the analytical gets involved in, which I find quite colorful, is how we can let it be okay. That's the interesting part. Right. And I think that's the interesting part because we're so used to part of that thing that we undecided just moments ago was uh, one of the things that we decided a long time ago in the density is that human beings are only valuable if we're doing something, if we're up to something, if we've got a project, if we've got our teeth into something. And achieving. Yeah, it's so funny, but perceptively when we undecide, it's, it's you know, no more valuable to do perceptively nothing. I mean, you aren't doing nothing, you're integrating, as it is to actually be engaged in something. Well, and actually when you're engaged with nothing, you're actually more engaged with everything, which is where you're having what we'll call more, 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 more of an impact than if you were busy, busy, busy. That makes it everything so finitely small in comparison to you. I mean, I'll never deny to-dos to-do, but wow, when it becomes a job and the to-dos run you, now we have a huge issue because you're literally, and let's play with quantum consciousness in physics here, you're just making yourself smaller and to, the to-dos start to take you over. To where now the to-dos own you, you don't get to enjoy the to-dos as all that is, rather than getting to play with the to-dos. But then we still have our to-do lists, being in a body on a planet, but the lists don't own you. You're able to play with them. You're even able to enjoy them because, once again, they do not own you. 